But yeah. Alex Stepney, the old stalwart in goal, um, Jimmy Nicholl, Arthur Orbison, Jerry Daly, ex Derby teammate of mine, Brian Greenoff, Stuart Houston, Stevie Coppel, Sammy McElroy, Stuart Pearson, Lou Macari, and Gordon Hill will never stop talking. <laughs> and Bobby, what about you, Ventures? A very impressive collection of talents. Well, yes, one of the world's great goalkeepers, Dino Zoff, Claudio Gentile. Uh, his name was Gentile, but he certainly wasn't a gentle footballer. A uh, really tough man. Scheria, number six, really good midfield player. Up front, Marco Tardelli, Boninsegna, and Roberto Bettega, one of the, one of the great players in, in Juventus history, great centre forward. The highlights now of Manchester United versus Juventus with commentary by Barry Davis. Referee is a West German, Ferdinand Bivassi. Manchester United attacking the goal to our right. That's Houston. Daly. Here's Gordon Hill for Manchester United. Daly. Benetti coming to cover, but uh, the pass not a good one. 15 minutes of the match gone. United haven't yet shown their real zip. And a bad performance on Saturday and seems to be suffering a little bit from it at the moment. Here's Furino. Here's Tardelli. Calzio coming in. And here is Calzio! Oh, and he hit the post with a gift that he was given for the nonsense between Houston and Greenoff. That could have been so costly and United was so lucky. Houston. Hill, again the early cross. Shirea got it away. Boninsegna, he's in on his own. Nickel trying to get there. Stepnik has come out and just got the touch. Did well. Oh, how reminiscent of the European Cup final. Stepney faced with a man on his own. It was Cesario then. It was Boninsegna now. Stepney came back, went forward, came back, and was in the right place at the right time to touch it away for the corner. <laughs> Playing as well as ever. Tardelli. Again, yeah, the majority of these Juventus side were in the Italian national side, so uh, I mean, we're clearly seeing how good they are, Bobby, now. Yeah. Yes, well, they're too good to actually make defensive mistakes like it's already happened. I mean, they should have been two up now. Um, Fortunately, you know, Alex Stepney, who had great hands, he was a terrific goalkeeper, you know, and he always had a chance one against one. But that, that was an absolutely sensational save you know, that, that kept United in the game. But two, two defensive mistakes, really, that should have cost them the match. Nickel. Found his place again. Now Calcio. Well nicked by McElroy. So much curl on the ball that it came back in. Crowd sensing that this is the moment to lift United. Daly. Nickel. Off. Well, as a striker, you'd appreciate that strike, even from a guy who talked all the time. <laughs> oh, I mean, the ball's been slung right across the back of the uh, area, and uh, Hill's met it on the volley. I mean, he was, he's always a great striker at the ball, Gold Neil. Um, but that, yeah, very quick feet. I mean, he's adjusted so quickly there. And when you say he talked all the time, what was he talking about? Well, I didn't take a lot of notice. I mean, he came, he came to Derby from Man United, and Gordon was always talking, but, you know, I just... I, I switched off from him. <laughs> if he wasn't acting, acting his normal wisdom bit, you know, so you just, just switch off from him. Vinetti <laughs> and Corino have buried the marking of the two midfield men. It came off the other one, who was marked then by Corino, and a corner.
referee, not going to complain to the referee. There's a player down who I think is Morini, who certainly has got a bang in the eye. Blood all over Morini's eye and looked as though he might well have got an elbow. Look at the move again. It's McElroy with Gentile. Pearson going up with Marini, and it looks as though he, his elbow caught the centre half. It's the Juventus doctor coming to look. Corner quickly taken and put out for another one. Boninsenio has come back to Mark uh, Pearson. Houston! kick given against Pearson for backing in and the yellow card came out well I can only think that was a slightly belated decision by the referee in the light of the previous incident which did look accidental anyway kick against Boninsenia. A lot of whistle at the moment. Jimmy Nichol for United. Pearson. And what about that? Referee playing it on, but Boninsenia left a mark then on Pearson. He'll give an offside. That a clear example of a tackle that had nothing to do with the play at all by Boninsenia on Pearson. With Pearson back on his feet. Crowd certainly a little unhappy with the referee. Calcio, Escurino. Important time for United to keep their concentration. Pearson has now recovered and recovered fairly quickly, to tell the truth. Hill. Well, that was very wild. And Calcio quite rightly booked. Look at the incident again. Hill had brought it down. In came Calcio, and he was way, way late on the challenge. Pearson. Makari. Good job for the Italians that Shiraya didn't make contact with that. Five minutes of the half remaining. It's a half which is pretty close to boiling point at this moment. quite unnecessary those two McElroy and Gentile have been stud for stud all the time
Green off for United. Green off. Pearson. Oh! Oh, come on. You've got to do something about that sort of tackle. The Italians have a fantastic passion for being for the game, don't they, the players? Oh, they love the game. Anybody that ever goes on holiday to Italy or, or travels the world, you know, the all Italians talk about is the love for football and the love of the game. And they've got a great passion for it. And uh, and it goes through to the supporters, it goes through to the children. You know, they're, they're expected to be good footballers if they're, if they're Italians. They're so proud of it. Couldn't get there. Koppel! Wanted the corner, but it was a fine effort by Steve Koppel. Houston couldn't make the header, but it came out to Koppel. Hit it well with his left. May well have been an offside decision against Pearson. Free kick against Bettiger. Two minutes of the half remaining. Well, the free kick given, but I think that looked rather worse than it was. McElroy in the sandwich. Green off. Finding Pearson. Kept out twice. Zop losing it. McElroy. Gentile sticking to him like glue. And the free kick given. Gentile being waved away by the West German linesman. Houston up once again in the box. So's Koppel, so's Pearson there. Here's Houston. Oh, and just over the angle. Good header by Stuart Houston. Been a menace at every corner and free kick in the area. Got up well. Just watch the flight of the header, curling over the angle of post and crossbar. United try to make a substitution. And McCreary is coming on in place of Jerry Daly. Hasn't been as great an influence as he would like to have been, Jerry Daly. Benetti going on ahead of the ball carrier. Bettiger, Boninsegna, Bettiger. Too much space here. Green off ending it. Run by Alberson. McCurry. Setting his sights. Hit it well and spectacular stuff from Dinozov. Right on his six yard line. Curry really set himself. Look at the goalkeeper coming forward. Benetti. Furino. Both former internationals in midfield for Italy. Tardelli. Bettiger. Boninsegna. Good try. And Stepney just able to kill the bounce, which he watched with great caution. Now is the chance, surely, for United to spring back. McElroy screaming for it far side. And taking on Shirea. Just turned away. Go kick. They sprung a bit then, United. McElroy coming inside Shirea. But his shot going wide. Goalkeeper didn't touch it. Gentile. Brian 
Brian Greenhoff. McCreary making a run ahead of him, number 15. That's Sean Scherer out to him. Top will obstructed. And the referee, with one quick look at his watch, brings the match to an end and leaves Manchester United with just one goal in the bag to take to Turin in a fortnight's time. And would it be enough? Well, it wasn't. You...